I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is animal, animal compound, compound words. And that is when you put two little words together to make a new word. And these are all animals. First thing, we're going to draw a tic-tac-toe grid to divide up our paper. So it's two straight lines going down and two straight lines going across. Okay? Now, in this top box over here, let's put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to go wavy, wavy line down on the left, come back to the dot, wavy, wavy line down on the right, go back to the left, wavy, wavy line, connect. Then underneath we draw a wavy line, little straight line, wavy line up. Wavy line, little straight line, wavy line up. Wavy line, straight line, wavy line up. Wavy line down, straight line, wavy line up. Wavy line down, straight line, wavy line up. Come in this space and go dot, dot, curve line. This, let's put it right here, is a jellyfish. Jellyfish. Okay? Come to the next box. Put a dot. We're going to draw a big curve line down. Curve line up. Connect. Big curve line down, connect. Right at the top, we're going to put a curve line, connect, and then we're going to go one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three baby circles on the right, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three baby circles. Come up and put dot, dot, curve line. Inside, one baby circle, two baby circles. One, two, three baby circles. This is a ladybug. Ladybug. Okay? Come over here, put a dot. Let's draw a baby circle. Straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. One, two straight lines, baby circle, baby circle, dot, dot, curve line. Come on the right side and go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Come inside, one, two, three baby circles on the left. One, two, three baby circles on the right. This is a butterfly, butterfly, okay? Come over here back on the left. Put a dot. We're going to draw a straight line in, curve line up and down. Keep going, straight line, curve line up, in, and leave it floating. Come back to our first dot, straight line down, straight line in, curve line down, connect. Come all the way up to the top and just draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down, up, around, connect. And we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, dot, dot. And this 
I'm going to go backwards a little bit. This is a seahorse. Seahorse. Okay? Come right here to the middle. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curved line down, in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line out, in, connect. On the left side, curve line down, up, connect. On the right side, curve line down, up, connect. Come on the left side, curve line in, down, connect. On the left, curve line in, down, connect. Inside, one dot, two dots, little curve line, straight line, connect. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven little straight lines. And this is a hedge hawk. We'll add more fur when we color. Okay. Come over to this box, put a dot up top, we're going to draw a big curve line down, up, leave it floating, come back to the dot, big curve line down, up, connect. Inside, wavy, wavy, wavy line, leave it floating, put one dot, straight line, straight line, connect. This is a blue bird. Blue bird. Okay. Come all the way down here, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line down, and then we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way over, wavy, wavy line back, come back to the dot, curve line, connect. Put one, two dots, curve line. This is an earth worm. Hello, earth worm. I'm going to put little curve lines all the way down over and go to the next box. This box, we're going to draw a big straight line up and a big straight line down. Starting at the top, we're going to draw a big curve line up, leave it floating. Come back over here, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line in, out, connect, one dot, two dots. Now on top, curve line out, in, down, over, connect. One, two, three little curve lines. This is a sword fish. Swordfish. Okay? Come right here. Last box. Put a dot. On the left, curve line down, up. Leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line down, up, connect. Down at the bottom, curve line, connect, curve line, connect up on the left, curve line, connect up on the right, one, two little straight lines on the right, one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one dot, two dots. Come on the left hand side and we're going to go straight diagonal up, down, connect, jump over, straight diagonal up, down, connect. Come inside and just draw the same thing again. Now, one, two, three, four, five little straight lines at the top. One, two, three, four, five little straight lines on the right. This is a bob cat. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we always start with our lightest color. So I'm going to start with my yellow and color in this space. And then I'm just going to put a yellow wavy line 
on each of these spaces. Then I come in with my pink and I'm going to double color over the yellow and I'm going to add a pink wavy line in between. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a purple and I'm just going to color the top part and then I'm going to add a purple wavy line going down. Okay? Next, for this space I'm going to color it light black. You want color so dark you can't see your face. Then I take my black and I color all of these baby circles. And you will do a way better job than me. And color these baby circles black also. Once you've done that, then you come in with your red and you color this part going around the baby circles. Try not to color over them so you get true color and color this all in red. Okay? Whoops! There we go. Next, we are going to... Now this one you can color any color you want but I chose the same colors I've been using so I'm going to color this space pink and this space pink and then I'm going to color this baby circle yellow and this baby circle yellow and this baby circles on the right baby circles on the left I'm going to color those all yellow then I come in with my yellow green and I color around you can color this one any colors you want. Those are the ones I chose. Okay, next. I found this color green. It's called Sea Foam. If you don't have Sea Foam, you can use any color you want that's green. So I colored the inside green and then I colored the outside pink. Seahorse. I could have colored some water but I'm keeping it simple. Next, hedgehog. Okay, I'm going to give him a black nose, this space black. Then I have a light kind of beige. These are multicultural crayons. I'm going to color this space with those. But to do all of his fur and his paws, I'm going to use a different colored brown so you can kind of see. And I'm just going to put brown in between all of these black lines. Okay? Hedgehog. Very cute M. Next, easy, bluebird. Hello, color it blue. And my earthworm, hello, color it pink. And this is why I like a tic-tac-toe grid because you can go outside of the grid. Next, swordfish. I'm just going to color this top thin blue. And bobcat. Color his nose black. I'm going to color this little space on the right, little space on the left, little black triangle on the left, 
little black triangle on the right. I'm going to color this face brown and so I don't lose my face. I'm going to color this whole space yellow. Bobcat. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, I had fun drawing these animal compound words. Jellyfish, ladybug, butterfly, seahorse, hedgehog, bluebird, earthworm, swordfish, bobcat. Okay, bye-bye.